partnim un king nu hokin tanjanke. For viewers outside of Transcaucasia, the color of pomegranates can be a confusing film since it's a film that's deep in cultural and historical references to Transcaucasia. And by Transcaucasia, I mean the area that makes up modern day Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. The film is highly abstract and deeply condensed, something coherent to say, and there is an underlying internal logic. And the point of this series is to decode the poetry between the lines as to make them more digestible for a, a non-Transcaucasian audience who want to understand why the film is such an important film and why filmmakers like Martin Scorsese hold it in such high regard. Pomegranates is a poetic film that reflects the life of 18th century Georgian-born poet Said Nova. The film evokes the past through cultural arts and crafts that the filmmakers, in the filmmakers' own words, must have informed Said Nova as a poet. Perajanov, the filmmaker, seeks to create a film that reflects the inner world of a poet through crafting beautiful poetic images, through stunning tableaus, while still incorporating cinematic elements such as movement and editing. Parajanov combines material culture and folk art to display his views on the relationship between art and life in cinema. Parajanov was trying to portray the art in life rather than daily life in art. Syed Nova often wrote his poems in three languages that being Georgian, Armenian and Azerbaijani, Turkish. And because of this, Said Nova was considered by the Soviet government at the time to be a symbol of brotherhood of all peoples. Also, in part of celebration of multiculturalism in the area, Parajanov brings this um, Soviet perspective into his film while still expanding on these ideas with his own image of 